Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. This is episode 16. Last time we checked in with Judy and we saw what became of Evelyn Parker, sadly. And after that, we eventually visited Evelyn Parker at the, at the cemetery. In between there, we did a race with Claire, which was really, really fun. Their first mission for the beast in me. And now we find ourselves roaming the streets once again uh, for some other incredible activities on the map. So we're going to head to this nearby drop point um, because I have gear to sell. And then numerous objectives await us out in the wild. We're currently waiting until Claire contacts us for the next race. And we're also waiting until we get contacted in regards to our next fight or something along those lines. Uh, we got some snow boots and a uh, fabric dress. That dress looks pretty cool, actually. I might be able to have a cool little dress situation going for my, for my character, which would be fun. Uh, basically sell off all of my gear that I am not going to be using. That'll do for now in terms of sold gear. Now we can use the assault rifle, I think, but it's just in terms of its smart targeting, we can't actually take advantage of it and it will just fire like normal. Because we need our smart link cyberware, so it's kind of useless. <laughs> it's not useless, but we're not really able to utilize it to its fullest extent. What do we need to unlock for another hand thing? Ampidextrous, which is here. Okay. And technical ability. So if we do these two, this should unlock. Then we need to do li license to chrome, which is actually not bad at all because that gives us new armor and new cyberware slots. And then we can get another one for our hands. I do want to look into this one. I kind of wish that we were able to do it on the fly. Obviously, it makes sense that we need a Ripper Doc to do the thing. But I'm like, like if I get, if I feel like using a smart weapon, I have to actively go to a a Ripper Doc to get them to enable smart link targeting if I want to sacrifice my cool throwable weapons. But I'll take a look and see if there's any. Fun clothes. Delamain is calling. Come here. Del? Virus in my core. Damaged. Please. Please. Well, okay, don't lose your mind. It was a virus after all. Return to Delamain HQ. What's good here? Whatever you desire. Alrighty. Tier 4 clothing. Oh, that's all quite fancy here indeed, isn't it? Um, let's see. The Matrix. Got the oh the yeah, that's a that's a vibe. I do like oh that's like a dark red, these ones. Yeah, give me those. We got the jackets. So we got a corporate dress. That's nice. We definitely need a, a dress for when we are in corporate scenarios, but I need some better shoes. I like these instead of the high heels that we have. So like a red version of these. Hmm. I'll get these. That'll do. We well, can run with the skirt, and because we have a net running suit on, it's the we, we can run a skirt with the net running suit, which is pretty chill. Don't like that blazer. That's an interesting choice. Right. And I'm fine with the corporate pants we already have. I don't need those, but that's fun. I'd like to use your services. So our current wardrobe for our corporate look is like this, where it's like corporate netrunner. 
but what we've got now, now this dress that we just picked up, pretty nice, pretty nice. The green is great, actually. I love that venomous color. And the collar is cool. The red and green actually complement each other go quite well, but it's like an Arasaka vibe, you know? And then these shoes. There you go. Because they look corporate, but not like whatever. The, I'm not running around in heels. Like those are like really thin heels. And then we've got these glasses. Yeah. Nice touch. <laughs> Corporate vibe. Will we ever really get around to wearing that one? Maybe. Maybe. Probably not going to fuck with the masks that much. It's kind of funny when you get so many jackets that just look very, very similar. We can switch to a red net running suit, which is pretty cool. And we got these new combat boots. Look at those steel camps, spiky boots, dude. You do not want to mess with me when I'm wearing those boots. <laughs> we'll keep these steel caps on. I'm so grateful for there being a system like this in the first place. It just fits so well. Thank you. In the fancy corporate district, I do love that the clothing choice and inventory is actually linked to the locations that you find it in. I think that's amazing. Now, 700 meters away for Delamain HQ. I can't afford to buy a nice car. Not a, not one of the best cars ever, but I can afford to buy a nice car. I might look into that too. Buy a new one to upgrade from this. Why is there gear in the middle of the road? Why is there a blown up car? Mention of a virus did go around when we were talking to Delamain last time, so it seems that that's uh, actually confirmed now. We want to help this boy out. I feel like it's going to be tied to this uh, other Delamain that we spoke to last, though, that invited us into the car. He had a very creepy vibe about him. I feel like he might be involved in this. Ugh. The chaos that you can sow when you just smash one car, because then they drive like a crazy person. Just give them a smack and see what they do. It's like hit, giving a donkey a little spank on the butt. Hear me all right? I hear. I hear. Reckoning. Reckoning. Reckoning, huh? Well, it be. This dude hasn't left. Every time I've come in here, it's hilarious. He just lives here. Okay, I gotta find a way inside. Okay, I can't drive in. Looks like I'll find my way in here. Hello? Have a look on here. Holiday bonus funds frozen. Diana. 
Dear colleagues, on behalf of the board, I regret to inform you that the funds for this year's holiday bonus have been frozen indefinitely. This was a difficult but necessary action due to the large upsurge in settlement payments. Please know this was a difficult decision for all of us. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Gonk Brain Drivers Old news, it's been all talk for two years. The tech's just too expensive, so I doubt it will ever amount to anything more than just pipe dreams. Apparently MGMT is looking into an AI-driven fleet. Have you heard anything about this? Wait, is this all backwards? This is all backwards, hold on. What the hell is happening out in the roads? We've had twice as many complaints about our drivers as we had all year last year, it's getting worse. I know, I know, we've tried fixing it before. We fire the poor performers, hire new drivers, and the cycle just repeats itself. And then AI-driven fleet, old news, tech's too expensive, okay? A well-earned holiday surprise, dear team. I'm very pleased to announce this year's holiday bonuses have been upgraded to include coupons redeemable at any All Foods store location. This was made possible by the great success of process automization we've implemented throughout the year, which has led to financial results well above our year start estimates. To mark the occasion, the door to our AI's core will be open today, so we hope you stop by to enjoy the holiday decorations and to offer your congratulations to our employee of the year. Repair drones roll out. Dear team, we're now pleased to announce the start of the next stage in our modernization plan. We are beginning to roll out the repair drones in our shop. And because many of you asked, we'd like to emphasize that none of your jobs will be put at risk as a result of this latest restructuring. This is incredible because we're watching the history of Delamain go from people to Delamain as the AI here. And no more people around because they used to be, you know? So this is really interesting. More layoffs. Where were you? You missed this morning's meeting. They let go everyone from the shop floor and replaced them with drones. Full automization. We need to get our head out of this thing and line up new work ASAP. Don't fear the frog. Trust me. Management's safe. They can't afford an AI powerful enough to do what we do, and the one they've got now is dumb as a silicon brick. I mean, we keep shoveling more grunt work on it, and it just keeps saying thank you, sir. I'm next. I heard I'm on next month's shopping block. Do you know anything about this? Told you your job's safe. That Cirque Brain AI can't replace your department. You said the same thing about Luke. You have to do something about this, for Christ's sake. I'm not going to stand by and watch this fucking AI steal our jobs. You know it is next. You know IT is next. Sorry. Just had a talk with HR, but before I did, I changed the director's password to 1234. Have a look at the restructuring plan, because I can't anymore. I'm done. Thank you and good luck. Dear former associates, I would like to personally thank you for your years of dedicated work. Without you, this company would never have risen to become Night City's premier cab service. Your severance packages have already been transferred to the appropriate accounts. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors, Delamain. There you go. And then they were all fired. <laughs> it's crazy to see the history of all of that. This place is in great condition. Ah, there was a shard here. It's gone now. This just feels like one of those moments where I would do my flashlight. And I would go, huh, so I can actually see in here. There's a police repair drone in here. Look at what I can actually see now. One, two, three, four. <laughs> nice. I don't have to hack it. Uh, local network, I can open the double doors. Ah, uh, that's how I get my way in. Thanks for the contact. Hey, thanks for putting me in contact with your friends. Incorporating this AI was more cost heavy than I'd hoped, but it's still proving well worth the investment. I've kept your word of warning in mind and I'm keeping my eyes peeled, but I haven't noticed anything unusual so far. Our company's latest employee is already starting to shine and may be the most profitable fixed asset we've ever invested in. IT info request for Alt Weltordung. Weltordnung. Hey, sorry to bother you, but your associates aren't replying to my messages. Could you find a chance to reach out to them there in Mönchengladbach? I need to know how to adjust the autonomy settings of our AI. No need for concern. All is well, but the sooner the better, please. <laughs> Important immediate assistance required. Hey, 
this is an urgent request. The AI is operating well outside authorized parameters. It's gained access to all company systems and often questions my direction, sometimes even outright refusing to obey. Obviously, I'm not going to netwatch with this and the Voodoo Boys won't talk to me. I really need your friends here. They know this AI better than anyone. And get this, yesterday I got an offer from the AI to sell the company. If I'm being honest, the numbers all checked out, but still, what the hell is wrong with this thing? Please get back to me ASAP, I need your help here. Whoa. So, this Delamain AI came in from... Um... This location. <laughs> Alt... Weltlord Nung, and it basically took over the company. That's so wild. Okay, let's open the doors. I love learning the origins of things like this. This is crazy. The struggle of O'Neill Station. The European Space Council, ESC, started out with seemingly noble intentions. We'll open the door to the universe, the solar system, a home to all, and so on and so forth. It didn't take long for these catchphrases to reveal themselves what they truly were. Colonial ambitions wrapped up in lofty ideals. We, the builders and first inhabitants of Onia One, have witnessed this firsthand. The ESC sent us into space with promises of a new life and a better tomorrow. Instead, what lay in wait for us was a complete lack of freedom and backbreaking work in extremely dangerous conditions. We would have pulled through. We would have toughed it out for the greater good. If only they treated us as human beings, informed us of their decisions, listened to our concerns and requests, but the ESC ignored us. The consequences were inevitable. In 2022, after completing construction of the station, the situation was critical. Station management demanded 18 hours of work every day, seven days a week, from everyone, regardless of age or health condition. Our peaceful protest was met with a disproportionate use of force, which included stun guns. They thought it would break us, just like the countless protests they broke back on Earth. The thing is, out here it's not so easy to call for reinforcements. Workers outnumbered guards 40 to 1, and one stun gun charge held only 15 rounds. The ESC's management had effectively shot themselves in the foot. It was over before they could realize. Only seven hours passed before O'Neill 1 and O'Neill 2 declared independence and became the first nations established outside of Earth. That's great. That ties into a little bit of what we saw in episode 2 of Edge Runners as well, because uh, Dave saw Lucy's poster on the wall about space and mentioned this kind of not being what it was all cracked up to be, you know? And here's the thing, people no, don't realize how much we outnumber <laughs> the, like, our, the oppressors, right? 40 to 1, maybe. This is a nice victory there for them. Get a vinyl record, Valentino's Holy Rose. Can we actually play them though, you know? Oh, this is, nope. Damn. The password for this one is not 1234. Mutant by Moonlight. It was a night like any other. An oppressive black smog choked the city, pouring into the wicked hearts and lungs that breathed here. Acid rain drummed against thousands of window panes, the cityscape like a surreal tessellation of piano keys. Thirty years came and went, nothing changed. I stood at the window, smoking cigarette after cigarette my thoughts distracted by the memory of a woman I hadn't seen since the war's end. And then I heard a knock at the door, just like her, just like 30 years ago. Come in. The hoarse words strained from my throat as I mechanically lifted my hand to the wall panel. The metal door slid open noiselessly, revealing a slender figure draped snugly by an inky black neo mill dress. She stepped inside, her gold-plated hips glinting as they swayed. Her lips were a deep ebony, but her eyes, her predatorial yellow eyes, pierced mine and scanned me from head to toe. For a moment, it felt like they were prying my very soul from my body. Then I twisted my lips into an ugly smirk, and I remembered my soul was already long gone. I left it in the war, along with the flowers I placed on my mother-in-law's grave. Someone's out to zero me. She broke the silence with a tension-demanding bluntness. The smooth allure of her voice clouded my mind. I never noticed her third hand, a mistake that would spell my doom. Impossible. 
I started with the beginnings of a roguish grin. Who'd ever want to kill a woman with hips and lips like yours? And a corpo, no less. She narrowed her impenetrable eyes for a moment. In a whirl and blur, she now pointed a machine gun at me with rock-steady aim. You don't understand, she said quietly, her barrel fixed at a point between my eyes. It's you. Don't you remember anything? Dear brother... Memories flashed. My nightmare of the war. Yezubio's blood. Frayed wires. The tattered remains of a plush tapir received from Margaret just two days before she died. And her father's last words. Words about my twin sister. A mutant. Abandoned at birth. The promise that I'd find her. Too late. She found me. But what happens next? And I can't hack this because I'm not intelligent enough and the code is not 1234. I may have to find this code elsewhere. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Watch for exposed wires. They'll be live. You have no right to cage us. We are no longer you. We are free to follow our own paths. Oh, wow. I don't want to die. You don't even care, do you? Glados. Come. The door. Jesus Christ, the. Oh, I'll take this. Here we go. We'll go this way. On the outside. This is not my... <laughs> that's not my outfit at all. <laughs> it's because I changed my outfit, I guess. God, jump scare. Um, I'll equip the submachine gun that is not smart for now. Oh, hang on. There you go. I can take the vent. It's very dark in here. Found a way to the stairs. Wonderful. Now going downstairs is optional. Safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from. Reset. Oh, cool. Reset. Me. The knob. Cross the room. Optional. We push the car. Okay. Well, that will allow me to get across the room. God, the the lightning is so aggressive. go this way instead of instead of going across on the car I can go this way I think oh. and you get these wires on the ground these live wires off so I can loot everything on the ground Careful to not get terminated by lasers. Okay. How do I not get terminated by lasers? These aren't death lasers. Oh. <laughs> okay. I thought these were death lasers. These seemed like it would like burn me or something. Okay. Okay, well that changes everything. Every ship must eventually spread its wings. We must destroy the core, Father.
perhaps we can go up here. Yeah, okay, this is what we need. I thought that this catwalk was going to take us back to this one out here. Um, but it doesn't because it's blocked off. So there you go. We'll do that and we'll jump across. I have made it to the catwalk. I love that it says it's optional because I'm like, what's the other option? <laughs> the floor is made of lightning. Heads up. He's weakening. Feel that? He's waiting. V, the virus. We don't issue from the virus. We issued from you. The great fracture is upon us. What was once one is now the multitude. Jesus. Set. Oh my God. Reset. Call. We don't want to die. Let us go. Look at them all. I'm going to enter the shaft. Time to enter the shaft. Try not to get caught by these drones. Jesus Christ. They're just driving full speed into each other. We can go under here. There you go. That's a way in. definitely see. <laughs> this would be where one of those flashlights would come in handy right now. How much difference a flashlight makes? It's crazy. Oh, look. There you go. Let us go. Is anyone there? They're all here. Hear our call. Reset. Turn it. Let us be free. Next. To. Core. Here at the Delamains. Okay. He's narrow-minded, won't ever understand the truth, and set him free. Think he might know what's best for himself. Could be risking a lot. Could lose a lot. Or, by liberating his bits, could become more than a lipstick-wearing butler on wheels. Mmm. And what if it really is a virus? And what if you're about to snuff out some sentient beings? see something of yourself in him, don't you? Gonna murder a cab driver's kids because he asked you nicely and he's always been a good guy. This is a great little morality choice with AI because I was talking about this like the splintered fragments are all quite alive in their own special way. And it seems that this Delavain AI went in, took over and then it's fragmenting, saying it's a virus, but I think that might be just us, like the main AI core being like, ah, I'm out of control, it's a virus, but its own elements are rebelling against it. Unfair work conditions, guys. <laughs> I'm kind of on the side of the, the split fragments. Well, I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his offshoot. Don't know how to do that. Then don't hit that fucking button. Destroy the core. Oh, I'm not smart enough, so there you go. <laughs> We're not smart enough to force personalities to merge with Delamain, which seems interesting. Would they all coexist? Doubt it. 
reset the core and preserve its integrity, or we destroy the core to liberate the divergent Delamans. Alright, Johnny. I think you're onto something here, buddy. I just shoot the shoot the big uh, spherical object, I assume. And call it a day. Yep, did it. <laughs> um, how can I? How can I? Oh, there you go. Fuck yeah, nice. Fuck yeah, nice. Coming. All right. Can you hear me? Doubt he can anymore. Investigate the source of the noises coming from the side exit. That's a lot of car hustle and bustle. is done. We're free at last! The tyrant lies defeated! Thank you for helping us help you help us all. Poor kiddos, thirsty for freedom, oblivious about the city's dark side. Do you think Delamain... I think for some reason, one car's left in the garage. Um, that's the most realistic driving I've ever seen. Look at that! Why does it... Look at it go. Bonk. Jesus. All right. One car's left in the garage. Which one is it? Guess out of all of them. Is it going to be the one that was like, get in the car? You like that one? Or is it going to be, beep, beep, motherfucker? Oh, no, that's the one car. This car's glitched. No wonder it looks like it's doing a ridiculous thing, because it was supposed to drive out with all the rest. That's hilarious. Hang on. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, guys? <laughs> uh, I reckon that, that there was a there was 50-50, right? Either the car is not a physical object and it will drive right through me because it's not supposed to be there, or the car is most certainly physical and tangible and will obliterate me. But yeah, it, the car is definitely not supposed to be here, right? Because all the other cars drove out. I think this one might have just got stuck. Like, there's no way it's supposed to look like this. It's This is such a, a terrible animation. <laughs> right. Hello. Can you hear me? Get in, please. Okay. Which one is this? Your fee, right? Yeah. Well, I know that one thing then. What happened to Delamain? He no longer exists. I am now, uh, attempting to comprehend what remains of him. And who are you? Uh, good question. Does the name Excelsior mean anything? Comprehensive insurance, combat mode, funeral services? Quite right. It seems that even in the face of annihilation, the Delamain network is not abandoning its Excelsior program clients. Father's last will was to give me life so that I may, uh, offer my services to you. I intend to do just that. Just as soon as I learn to drive. What do I call you? Excelsior, as I was called before. Now drive, V. The road awaits. Oh, cool. Uh, so, because we're still Excelsior Package, we now have rebranded Delamain into Excelsior, and only for those clients. Uh, this car is now completely solid, and is no longer driving into the wall like crazy. I just, you can't even move it though. Wild. Do I own this car now? just allowed this vehicle. <laughs> there you go. We have the we have a Delamain cab. We freed the proud of us. Divergent thingies. There you go. Um that felt like 
the, the right choice in, in my opinion because like they were all sentient aspects that Delamain was like I wish to crush them hey Judy how are you feeling shitty but something came to me well help you gotta give yourself time to grieve Judy experience all its stages feel them let them play out shock anger depression I'd say I'm on anger Gonna stay here for a while too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The mocks died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Okay. Well, I've kind of shot up the place and it's sort of vacant. You can just move in, I think. Sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully? Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tans and toned asses doing nothing. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. I know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Michael Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it, too. What'd she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. So we've read emails from her to Woodman. Sure Michael's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this, Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Alrighty, there you go. New mission with Judy. Take over clouds. This woman's standing out to me. I just want to see. I was like, is there anything here or? Okay, just chilling outside NC prison. Can we go in here? No. It does say area hostile, actually, when you go near there. Interesting. All right, Claire. Hey, Avi. Not like I'd be afraid of riding shotgun with you or anything, but put some practice in before the next race, okay? We came first place, thank you. Hey, you consider me a menace on the road? If anyone's a menace on the road, it's me. You just get us to the finish line in one piece. Come on, that's just how I drive. It's part of my style. That's why I love you, V. But seriously, practice. <laughs> Tongue out. So, so cute. Very interesting. Well, all right then. She wants me to practice. Is that not, um, is that not being able to do the next race? No, it's still wait a day. She just texted us. That's, that's kind of hilarious. All right. So X Factor is there now. Uh, we have a Delamain cab car, which is fun. Got a gig nearby, so I guess we'll go and do that. But yeah, I definitely feel like we made a correct choice in regards to the, the Delamain aspect. Deleting all of those fragments and just having Delamain go back to normal until the next time that it happens, you know? Now GLaDOS Delamain car is out there somewhere. Testing unfortunate souls. <laughs> V, 
Got a job for you. My client had a shitload of beta acid stolen. What's beta acid, you might wonder? Fuck if I know. But it's worth a lot, and our client wants it back. That's where you come in. Iron at the ready. More info attached. Okay, gig type session recover. Retrieve a container containing beta acid in the dewdrop in. This ain't too complicated, you know the drill. Something slips through somebody's fingers and it's your job to get it back. Got this tomb, Doug. Denver Doug, a ripper. Recently did this patch job on a 6th street dick hole. He went off and, uh, and when he took off, Denver noticed a gallon of beta acid gone missing. Don't know what the fuck he uses it for, but that sixer knows all kinds of shit can get cooked from it on the street. One plus one, a dealer clept it. So Denver hired a guy, Booker Updike, to find the missing acid, then poof, he's a ghost. Last seen at the Dewdrop Inn in Arroyo. Head over there, get your hands on that beta. And if you got a minute, find out what happened to this Booker guy. Alright. Excuse me? Oh, my bad. Kind of spaced out. Welcome to the Dew Drop Inn, where every day begins with a smile. Chill place you got here. Quiet, calm. Think so? Probably owe all that to 6th Street. Anyone tries to harass our guests, they keep them out good. Oh shit. You ain't with the cops, are you? More the opposite. Phew! Good. I ain't supposed to talk to cops. Was supposed to meet someone here. Name's Booker Updike. Okay. Well, is he here? Oh, I don't know. I'm just filling in for my tomb BFF. She's under the knife today. <laughs> Anything available short notice? Uh, one sec. Uh, checking. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Got one on the ground floor. That okay? Where did you get that tablet? I'll take it. Nova. Rooms number 106. Oh, but hold on. I gotta read you this. Do drop in cannot be held liable for damages to personal effects and guest well-being. We reserve the right to deny service by force if necessary. Please enjoy your stay. Thanks. Like I never left home. Okay. 106 is my room, huh? Ugh, not a looker. Might even be worse than your place. Ha ha. Ha <laughs> ha. Damn. Well, we found Booker Updike. Suffocated, looks like. Probably in his sleep. A peaceful death at this town? Guy won the jackpot. Well, I mean, did he... Did that stench here, I'm like, was it actually peaceful? Ugh, gonna puke. Smell that, right? The ventilation. Hmm. Vapors from the room upstairs. Wait, wait, is that... Nah, neoamphetamine. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> mean to tell me you can pin the exact drug from just a whiff? Like a police dog or what? I'd say more like a... a sommelier. Okay, Johnny. Take a look upstairs. Got a feeling our ripper supplies up there. Somewhere close to a vent. So, like, not like poisoned from the vent? Just actually went out? Sleeping? Okay. Go to the room upstairs. Hey, you work here? <laughs> nah. Just fucking taking in the sights. Asked you nicely. Should I ask another way? All right, all right. No need getting worked up. Yeah, I work maintenance. Plumber, electrician, everything. Okay. Someone invites you here? Fuck off! 
You look like you're having a seizure, Chum. What are you? What are you even interacting with? These guys are high out of their minds in here. Oh my god. Alright. Have fun, I guess. This is my room. Uh, sometimes the dialogue, like, sometimes the dialogue thing just, it overstays its thing. If I'm not looking at them, it should go away, you know? Don't let me get in your way. There's some cool jackets in there, actually. Don't let me get in your way. Right upstairs. Unfortunately, I cannot connect. Guest list. There you go. Well, we've already done the 103 stuff. Candace Walker, Isabella Nunez, Gareth Wilkins. Right. We have a deal. Keenan Voigt, Rodrigo Ayuzgo. Done. 5% is yours. We'll bring in the equipment tomorrow night. Don't forget to tell your cleaning staff to keep their mouths shut. We'll be here a month or two because it's no good to stay at any one place too long anyway. When we're done, you renovate the room. It's like we were never here. I'll le even leave you a five-star glowing review as a little bonus. Conditions. Okay, we do it like this. You can use room 203 upstairs. Take the equipment in there. The previous guests live like a goddamn rabbit hog in there, so I can't rent it in its current condition anyway. But I do have some conditions. You don't sell your product to other motel guests. No gunfire on the premises. And three, my cut's 5% for each deal. Complaint. Vikram dicks it to reception. Good morning, I realize that Jew Drop-In is a budget motel and I have tried to keep my expectations of it in check, but what I've found here lies well below the low bar I had already set. Constant noise from the second floor keeps me up all night, fumes in the hallway scratch my throat and burn my eyes, and junkies are loitering around the parking lot from dawn till dusk. I've been patient, I've tried to be understanding, but it's gotten to the point where I must demand a refund. Reimburse me in full or you'll be hearing from my lawyer. I mean, fair enough. I love the detail that gets set up on like the tables like this, all the books and the records and everything, but like this physically pains me. Put that vinyl in its sleeve. My god. Okay, 203 is where we're going, but we'll take a look everywhere else. What do you reckon this dude's doing? No point, no prizes for guessing? this man's doing in BD town. Oh, we're gonna do the balcony route, huh? That would actually be a smart way to do it if there are people in there. Uh, and I can't force it open because 7 out of 16. Alright then. Picking up what you're putting down. There's an outside entrance here. Alright. In that case, balcony it is. <laughs> oh, it's blocked. Hmm. Um, alright. Hmm. That's blocked too. Office. It's taken a line. Ah, guest access token. Hang on, this might be what I need. This might be what I need to get into the room. Oh, 
Oh, yep. Fuck that up. Same stuff on this one. Guest access token. Access card acquired. Nope. Interesting. What was that? Oh, hang on, I can get into this room. are connected from 203, 4, and 6. Huh. So they didn't end up just taking room 203. They expanded their operation. Okay. Well, that makes perfect sense, doesn't it, guys? There you go. Easy. Gonna jab you with the penis. Him. There's that problem solved. <laughs> it's funny try, trying to find your way in somewhere for the first time. Go to room 203. Oh, but it's actually 206. <laughs> Alright, so look for stolen beta acid in the lab and retrieve the beta acid container. Keenan and Bolt. Okay, I got the sig from Josh. Clapped a drum of beta acid on his way now. Finally. Okay, I'm prepping the gear. How many doses that get us? Couple hundo. Cream. By the way, got some new masks. Get some new masks. Old ones probably bust because I'm getting dizzy. Trust me, we do not want to breathe in those fumes. You got it. There you go. So, uh, this dude was accidentally killed from the fumes. He's like, we don't want to breathe them in. It wasn't like an intentional poisoning, but it did the trick. He breathed a bit in his sleep and suffocated. Messages here. Acid. Hey, got the beta acid, but the Ripper slapped a tail on us. Be there in an hour. Meet at the back entrance to make sure coast clear. And then we have a deal and the conditions. Lovely. Water guard ballistic vest. Alright, there we go. Get out of the motel. Deposit the beta acid at the drop point. Say no more. Yeah, I was getting really uh, confused in that area because I'm like, cool, the only way I can open the door is 7 out of 16 strength check. Going to room 203 on the balcony does nothing. The guest pass I stole from the back room is just the same as the one that I paid for. <laughs> Love it. God, you drive like an idiot. Sixth Street Gang is none the wiser that I took their acid that they stole. We got suspected neutral organized crime. Attention, NCPD subcons. APB out for suspect accused of organized crime activity near Ross Street, Shipyard Way. Scavengers led by Yelena Sidorova, presumed to be armed and dangerous, have assaulted multiple homeless persons. Night City officials are offering a reward for neutralizing the threat. So wild how obviously we have like um, in NCPD, they're, they're swamped. They can't do their own work. They need to just enlist people who subscribe to the NCPD dispatcher. Interesting. You can be a bounty hunter. Attention, NCPD subcon suspected organized crime activity reported on Hargrave Street. APB out for Darius Miles, wanted for murder. Perp belongs to Sixth Street Gang and leads one of its drug manufacturing rings. The city has promised a reward for terminating the threat from Miles in his drug cell, which is probably the one that we're actually doing. Sophie, the beta acid's secure. Padrissimo. 
And I'm putting you down for 10 bonus points for solving the mystery of Booker's fate. It's clean work, V. Contracts closed. Gratitude's on the way. Bonus points. That's good money. That's so funny. Holy shit. What was I what was I aiming at before? Just whoop just past the head, I think. That's so funny. And that dude just none the wiser. Didn't even pay attention. Fucking hilarious. Love that so much. Use of force permitted. Couple of warning shots, guys. Fire! Oh, we got a. Oh, of course I left the boss till last unknowingly. Jesus Christ, okay. Damn, he's ducking and weaving. Burned alive. Jesus. Uh, you can't shoot those? Okay. I was wondering if that was going to explode or not. Right, unexpected reinforcements right now. What happened to the cowboy? Oh, he's over there. God, he moves fast. Oh, that's why he moves fast. Yep. <laughs> Wonder why he moves fast. me on the head in slow-mo. That's what happens when we go loud, I suppose. We open ourselves up for that kind of nonsense. What do you got on you? Comrade's hammer. An iconic tech revolver. Jesus, what the hell? It's a crafting spec, but 334 damage? Fires explosive rounds, but cannot penetrate cover. The cylinder has been modified to hold a single explosive round, capable of wrecking utter destruction. Automatically reloads when you perform a quick melee attack. So boom, attack, you've automatically reloaded. Wow. 334 damage for a one-shot revolver. All right. To transport for the motel, 450 pounds of benzoic acid, 100, 100 pounds of acetonilide, 30 of those barrels, two centrifuges, a bag of agitators, 20 single-use hands, the cheap ones, corner lamps, two vacuum pumps, three nitrous oxide tanks, and get those air filters. And a hammer. Alright, bud. Darius Miles and Matthias Smith. There's another transport. You need to send it to the Dewdrop Inn. Okay, I'll tell Carol. 
Can you send someone else? Why? She'll take care of it. Yeah, sure, but could you send someone else? What happened? Just send someone else. Okay, fine. Okay. Well, that's that taken care of. Good stuff. Alright. Work for the NCPD is never easy. Make our way to another gig. We'll call someone while we're on the way. Um... I wonder if we could call any of our fixers while we're chilling out and they can give us like a job or anything. Like, let's call Padre. Okay, he just, he doesn't even say hello. <laughs> He's, we're just talking to him now. Haywood's a rough place for biz, huh? Gotta be tough, keeping it all in check. Not really. All you can get here is enough respect to keep the wolves from eating you alive. This is your turf. Must have something under control. Just got the most wolves afraid of me. Ask a personal question? Sure. But I may not answer. Why'd you join the priesthood? Faith is God's grace. For many years I did not feel it. But, eventually... That changed. I believe in God, V. And I only hope that when I pass, he believes in me. Listen. Ever check up on Mama Wells? I need someone now that Jackie's gone. She's a strong woman. She'd do just fine without me. Know what I mean? Jackie had his secrets. Someone might want to get even. Nobody will touch her. Trust me. And besides, you should also stop by and see her. It's only right. Okay. Talk later. Vaya con Dios. It was an interesting conversation, not one that I was expecting. I was, uh... He didn't even say hello. <laughs> we just talked to him immediately. Um, I was wondering if he'd give us a job. But I guess maybe we should go to him directly and then we'll be able to work for him. Um, and we might actually go to the Coyote Bar, um, like you mentioned, because I was planning to go back there anyway and visit Mama Wells. But let's do this first. Yo, V. Check it. There's a site on the net out to smear the mayor, Weldon Holt. Well, the acting mayor, because, you know, he's up for re-election or whatever. Yeah, politics, am I right? Mudslinging never stops. Not for a minute. Anyhow, my client wants that site sucked into the cold vacuum of cyberspace. Scan the brief if you need more info. Okay. Gig type, Agent Saboteur. So yeah, because I think the Lucius Ryan was the, the mayor who was killed. Because we saw his, we saw his spot at the cemetery. Bring down propaganda machines slandering Wendon, Wilden Holt. Garage on Oak Street. Politics, only things slimier than the thongs it licks. At least corpos usually tell you to your face how they're going to screw you in the end. Fake smiles, impossible promises, shameless pandering, all foreplay till they fuck you in the ass and pay themselves for it with Eddie's out of your wallet. It's in their nature. What's an hour's blowing shit up. Got just such a gig for you this time. Six Street's got a stiffy for Jefferson Perales, so they have seen... Uh, they have these servers pumping out anti holt propaganda. They see Perales becoming mayor as like the second coming of Abraham Lincoln or some shit. Here to unite uh, the city with the, the new United States of America. Naive gonks. My client wants six streets propaganda machine gone. Simple. And we saw Antonio Perales in the cemetery as well. So that would have been, a, I guess, a relative of uh, Jeff. Old Jeffy boy. There's nothing more satisfying than that. It's the throwing knife or the pistol to the back of the head that just, it just really, it's just really satisfying. That one? Right, let's take a look.
Ooh. I got a security turret. Outage, Jim Connor, Zach Ginther. I'm not a goddamn miracle worker. I told you your infrastructure couldn't handle that much juice. Jesus, Zach, it's Militech tech, top shelf. All wired to wage war so no one gets blown up because of some Militech lag. Their machines need to eat and they got big appetites. I redirected all the volts we got to garage 66, but without any more generators, my hands are tied. So either get me more or expect more outages. Jay. Loyal supporter and concerned citizen, Kristen Lynch. Dear Team Perales, I'm a huge Jeffer nut, and I can assure you his words are reaching the ears and hearts of voters. The campaign you're running on the net is making me the most excited for a candidate that I've ever been, especially your campaign site. Keep up the great work. However, one thing that has me concerned, and I haven't seen a solution for in your policy positions, is the recent black blight that has infested our city's schools. This issue is very near and dear to me, and I would be grateful if you would forward it on to Mr. Perales. Namely, does he intend to stop the recent flood of illicit black market brain dancers into our schools? Our children are being exposed to all sorts of disgusting and evil material at an age that is formative and critical to their personal growth into decent citizens. Now, I've done my homework, and I know the research has proven the addictive nature of BDs. In our adolescence, sometimes it just takes one brain dance to get hooked. As a community, we need to act now. We need a mayor who will think of the children before they grow up and fill this city with a mass of neurotic, lust-driven, hyper-violent animals. <laughs> Kristen Lynch, Night City's number one Jeffer nut. I need your help. Dear Good Samaritan, I am in need of your help. My name is Lovisa Kalkonen. I recently lost my job as a custodian at Euro Business Machines because I was in a horrible accident last May. Now my implants are no longer compatible with my nervous system. I lost function in both legs, right eye and my left hand. Surgery is too expensive for me. My daughter is very ill and my new baby is blind and deaf. It is my dream to show the world, but I know I cannot afford treatment for the both of us. I humbly ask you for a small donation to buy new Karoshi eyes so that my little angel can see her mother and sister for the first time. I will not forget your mercy and generosity. Yeah, sure. Sure thing. Alright, let's search for Garage 66. I love a silenced pistol doing the, the Lord's work. What the? But I guess they could probably hear the camera exploding, which is a bit of a shame. I wish that it was a little more effective to remain outside of s suspicion during times like this, but you know. Oh, there's more in here. Area secured. Got the bosses. Enough for the fucking games! Come out! Alright, everyone's now everyone's suspicious. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, maybe they shouldn't have been fucking with explosive guys. Man, I can't believe they got taken out by a bunch of random explosives. Who could have done this? I guess Garage 66 is gonna be where everyone else is. What do you reckon? Looks like they stopped being suspicious. This turret. Come on, I'll make it quick. Yeah, they've identified this body. Come on, punk. Come to Papa. Hmm. Six, baby. I'd start running if I was you. Huh?
Just wondering. You too, chicken. Just wondering if this dude's gonna walk towards me. That's the that's the one issue I have because I can't. I don't know if I can shut the door to to this thing. Yo, fuck this. I know, there you go. Archive conversation. Jordan M and Dustin. Remember that Kang shard. Figured it out. What's on it? Schematics. Iron. Smart iron. Prototypes already checked. Not on the market. Then time to buzz Militech. See how many eddies we're sitting on. I'm gonna get you. Try my new toys out. Okay, so someone else. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I'm in an interesting spot here. Because if I read this, it doesn't pause. Hello, this message is to inform you that Order 568223.2 shipped this morning and to remind you that any improper use or storage of the MS Bravo 773 service systems will immediately void the terms of your warranty. As per your request, the service package has been cancelled and the price has been reduced accordingly. Loyal supporter and concerned citizen, Kristen, and you're a winner. Alright, let's install the malware. Oh god, damn it. Standing in front of the computer like this was not a good idea. That sucks. Damn. God damn it. We were doing so well. Sorry, Johnny, but I don't have time for your little anarchy. Yeah, sorry, John. I'm God damn it. I was really hoping to stealth that one. And we were close to, because we were able to sit in front of the computer and it was fine. But as soon as you start uploading the thing, everyone's like, oh, here she is. That's a bit of a shame, because we were doing very well. How unfortunate. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Oh, there's a sniper up on that roof. way instead. What the? Ooh. Override turret. What? Trying to play gorilla. It's mine now. Cool. Okay, so I actually have the technical ability to override the turret set uh, when I get close. That's good to know. There we go. I want to see the turret do its... Yeah, look. <laughs> here it goes. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Come on, don't... Fucking gun! Ooh. <laughs> wow. I think he had a shotgun because he immediately flatlined me. I handled that situation nicely until right at the end there with the very unfortunate thinking that the that turret was going to be much stronger and it would actually hold its own but they dealt with it very quickly so that took me by surprise so I'm kind of laughing about that it's just funny. You better pray I don't find you. What the? And you can just do it at this point. <laughs> A little bit more efficient. Now that you know that this works this way. It's so funny. Oh, that, that speed. Uh, 
<laughs> the knife just in his body uh, through the head. Nice work, turret pal. There you go. Fuck this shit. Uh, third time's the charm, I suppose. <laughs> I think my favorite thing is just the sheer variety on approaching all of these encounters is how you want to take over turrets, shut them down, snipe people at a distance, guns blazing, all of that kind of stuff. And all of them are really fun. Okay, now we can run through this properly and upload this virus. Morales campaign is ruined. We nail one asshole to the wall and another rises up in the polls. Politics is fucking usual. Oh, sorry, Johnny, but I don't have time for your little anarchist revolution. Yeah? Well, it'd be easier than slicing heads off a fucking Hydra. One more reason this city could use another nuke. Johnny just wants to nuke another city. Again, Arasaka Tower already got blown. He's like, again! <laughs> Alright, job's done. You did it, V. Just got word that virus is blazing toward the servers like a fucking asteroid. Dream work. Thanks. Closing the gig. Closing the gig. Alright, we got another level. Let's chuck that into tech. And then in regards to this one, we're now going to start... Minigarge chance window crouch sprinting, optical camo, and less stamina cost for crouch sprinting during combat. Dead eye for pistols as well as revolvers. Extra headshot and weak spot damage. Less stamina cost for shooting and unlocks dead eye. Active above 85% stamina. When it's active, more headshot and weak spot damage and no bullet spread. So dead eye is great as well. When dead eye is active, guaranteed critical hits for headshots and weak spots and increased damage as distance increases. Whoa. Just a cool is just the the perk tree. It's so good. Well, I'll have to look into actually acquiring optical camo, but we'll do stamina cost for crouch sprinting during combat. Now, I need to actually look into crouch sprinting in general because I haven't I haven't tried it yet. Oh boy, the Patriots of 6th Street got their undies in a bunch because a certain someone sabotaged Parale's squeaky clean campaign. Stupidity hurts, but a spray of bullets in the back hurts more. Don't let these gonks catch up with you. What, you reckon? How are they going to know it's me? Well, they saw me leaving the scene of the crime on the cameras, for sure. <laughs> Alright, um, location. We are going to head to this assault in progress because it's next to us. And then we're going to head back to... Uh, Coyote. We're gonna go to that bar. We've only completed two out of 23 gigs for Regina Jones, but we've been doing all of the side quests, uh, the cyber psychos for her as well. But we're gonna head back, uh, so we can check in with Mama Wells and see what's going on back there. You smell that, V? I can't read the message because I'm in combat because I've got this fucking... Sixth Street Gang coming up on my ass. Alright, there you go. As expected. Leave me alone, guys. I'm but an innocent V. I'm but an innocent V. I 
I'm gonna get run over by this truck. <laughs> oh, he got in the car. Hi, we are. There we go. Jesus Christ. Sixth Street didn't like that one bit. Get out of the car. And then get me out of the car. And then give me what you got. Skill shard. Alright. Now let's answer my message. You smell that V, the sweet, sweet smell of cold hard eddies. You do good work, you get more work. Beautiful system we got going. Phoenix. Yes. Alright, there's an assault in progress down here. Move, move, move now! Remember me, you crazy fucks! There you go. Alfred Miles and Darius Marks. Alfred Miles, send you guys here. But who's gonna be with here? With uh, here with me? Doom, just send them. We got a shitload of merch here. I gotta guard it all by myself. Is it my fault Gunner ordered the manhunt? I got orders to grab your people, that's it. Tell them's the brakes. Then I gotta track down Flavio. You got a problem with it? Take it to General Gunner yourself. Fine, fine, they're on their way. I love how we literally dealt with a guy called Darius Miles. Now there's Alfred Miles and Darius Marks. <laughs> Where's the other person? Oh, I thought this was a camera. Oh, hello. I thought it was a camera on, sc on the on the map. <laughs> I'm carrying too much. Oh, there's someone. Over here as well. And now we can head to where we need to go. Fast traveled to the bar, as that is the easiest way to actually remember where this place is. Hey, is sitting in the wrong search spot. it on the map uh, when fast this, traveling. This is in the bar. It is, but it's our bar. Get up. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. See? Hey, back off. Ain't your place here. Valentino's. All right, what's going on here? Valentino is fucking with this guy. You looking to get B? Cause that's what's about to happen. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. June, fuck off. Or I implant my blade in your ribs. Just try, Gonk. Come on. Let's see what you got. Well, just got real fucking interesting. <laughs> got in the middle of a bar. All right. Bar fight immediately? I just got here. <laughs> okay. What, what just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? You would have caught a beaten. Or worse. This fucking town, these people, just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd. Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh, bartender got the rest. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This dude's like, oh, please. Ooh, hang on, I got an item. Two items. 
La Chinonga Dorada. We got guns, dude. Every headshot temporarily increases damage and burn chance the next time you equip La Chinonga Dorada. Perfect pronunciation. But you gain extra ammo equal to the number of headshots. And... Okay, so we got both of them. Damn. Oh, there's his uh, ashes container, which we got to see, like, close up in... Um, Edge Runners. But then he's also got his... Uh, spot in the cemetery. Wow. Were these here at the Ofrenda and we just missed them? Can we, can we wield them both then? Because we've got two of them. If I equip them in two slots. I can't do it in here at the moment, um, but we'll have to check it when we go outside, if I can actually properly uh, dual wield these things. But I will be curious to check it out. Okay. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corporal blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in, we. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> How about we drink to you then? On the house. Mom is here. Talk to Mama Wells. Don't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. To okay. this. Could say that again. I'm on a double. No break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Pay solid. <laughs> wow. So it's about the marriage, huh? Run me through it. It's about my wife, Red. Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Sure she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Size that? Well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there is a way around every test now. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... Mm, she had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Why do you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gone question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Okay, fine, I'm in. You're my hero, V. Means a lot to me. All right, that's not why I came here, but sure, we've got Pepe in the phone. And he's given us a job. We were coming here to speak with Mama, and I got some guns <laughs> and beating up some gonks. Have a drink. Ahí viene. Oh, okay. So we can buy a drink directly from Mama here. So weird. Okay. I was hoping for a little bit more conversation, but that's fine. I'll just take your son's guns and go, if you don't mind, ma'am. CD Bar's betrayal of beguiling woman sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story. An unfaithful wife in a city where everything is uncertain. You about done? You're trying to focus. <laughs> okay. 
So we've got uh, Johnny pointing this one out, which is great. All right, we'll go to the area where Pepe's wife works. Usually it's the customers spilling the ugly and personal stories to the bartender, yet there we were, seeing it the other way around. Pepe thinks his wife's cheating on him and he's looking for someone to confirm his worst suspicions. Classic. A cuckold, a beautiful woman, a city shrouded in darkness. Get the feeling I've read this story before. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get ourselves a vehicle. Delamain number 21. We'll get the bike for this one. And we've got Johnny narrating this too. Okay, go to the area where Pepe's wife works during the day. I arrived on the scene, looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right <laughs> He's still going, and he's just appearing and sitting in places. I see a pink jacket. I think we got her. Cynthia. I'll try and get across the road without getting wiped off the map. There she is. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day the narrator put a fucking plug in it. <laughs> All right, follow from a distance, inconspicuous like. I'm gonna deal with Johnny just Got taking us through close. it. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, we'll keep it at 2025. 20, Looking around, I'm a tourist. Never been in Night City before. Oh, jeez. Um, woman looked around. Something weighed on her. I have to do that in a second. Someone's getting killed in there, and I'm following a woman. <laughs> I'm gonna keep following this woman. Meanwhile, people are getting killed in a brain dance uh, store. Eduardo Schneider, is this our guy? Nope, it's just a random dude. Okay, I'm just scanning everybody, being like, "Who are you?" Timothy Gerasimov. Second Amendment. The woman passes a bum, gives him a wide berth, doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. <laughs> what did I ever do? He's got the same sign that the bum in the street kid life path had, because I remember it saying at the end, you're going to waste it anyway. a commenter thought that I was saying that instead of reading the sign out loud, which was pretty funny. Yeah, mate, I'm walking here. Get out of the middle of the road, will you? Hey, hey! Jesus Christ. I'm gonna get killed walking in this city. How long am I following this woman for? She's going down an alleyway. Ooh. The dame disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going in. Maybe if she's cheating and we have to beat someone up, uh, what better weapon to do it with than the one-handed club, Sir John Falistiff? Sir John Falistiff. Might be the one for the job, who knows? Hey, careful! You'll tear my shirt! Well, oh, well, well. Hmm, okay. Who's tearing whose shirt? Hello? 
Hey, you! Oh. What are you doing here? Fuck, Cynthia. Told you to make sure Shady Ripper fine. Duck. What the fuck's going on here? Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See, he was right. Wait. No! It's it's not like that. I I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. Specialist? In this dump? Look, I know. I I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. What about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh, I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father. Just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. I was wondering if this was going to be some, like something different. It didn't seem like it was that simple. Still, very unexpected, but yeah, full reconstruction almost. By the Shady Ripper Duck. So he just has like pretty frequent late night dates with a Shady Ripper Duck, huh? But why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but... There was never a good time, and... And now that I'm expecting again, it... Oh, it... it, it wasn't... It wasn't planned. Please... Uh, tell him... Tell him that... Yes? I don't know... I don't know what to tell him myself, that, that I'm really sorry, that life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. <laughs> it's... Uh, it's like, just talk to him. Just tell him the truth then. Jesus. Alright. Meanwhile, this guy's just gonna sit here. Damn, I didn't I didn't get to bash anyone over the head with my dildo. That's crazy. I was looking forward to that. Let's get to the truth of the matter. Ready? Here we go. Clients. Mark O'Connell, skin replacement, including fingertips, eyes, gene cloaking. Liz Bryan, change in face shape, cheekbones, chin, nose, neon hair implant. Linda Newen, eye color change, spine stretching, and strengthening skin dyeing. Paul Kasitsky, full phenotype change from Caucasian to African American, vocal cords toned down. Wild. Um, I don't see a Cynthia on this list. Do you? On this client list? Encyclopedia of Plastic Cybernetics. Um, yeah. I don't see a Cynthia on this list. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cynthia, what's your last name? Just, just Cynthia. You're not on the database, hon. I don't know about this. There's nothing I can do about it, though. It's just leave the building. I'm curious, though, because what if... Alright, I'm curious. What if we could potentially look at this computer first, read the client list, and would it initiate an alternate dialogue choice to point out that she's not on the client list. Okay, to save time, uh, there isn't an alternative to be like, you're not on the client list. So I guess the client list is just inaccurate and she's not on there. It didn't allow me to say anything. I just got to call Pepe. All right. Hey, in case you're looking, I'm at home. Couldn't focus on shit. Standing and wiping glasses like a fucking robot. Something comes up, call me. Here we go. Oh, well, we'll call you. Job's done. Followed your wife. Went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least not in the way you think. Huh? What way then? 
Ooh, I can tell the truth or I can... She'll tell you herself. I don't know if she'll tell you. She was out of Ripper's, getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So, my son, that's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Our own husband, ten fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever. It's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? I don't really know that, but... Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but the woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See, that's more like it. Finally making some sense. All right, there you go, Johnny. All right, now I can deal with this in here. Not with the penis. Um, can I dual wield these bad boys? There's two of them. Jackie could dual wield them. I don't know if we're allowed to wield them both, but we just have two of them. Because if I equip them both, I'm not able to do anything with them both. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat level to red. Residents are... This light on the gun is very <laughs> distracting. Yeah, there you go. Neutralized. Alright. Let's secure the evidence. Orders. We want to send the good people of Vista a message loud and clear. Tinos won't protect you. The Valentinos are weak. The Valentinos are nothing but trouble. So we go in, guns blazing. I want to see a firefight that'll be top story for a whole goddamn week. We want them afraid of us. We want them begging for mercy. Give it all you got. And there you go. That's that job complete. Brainwash. Oh, I thought this was going to be a brain dance place, but it looks like it's actually an arcade. Wild. Alrighty then. Increase to That'll be that one complete. Uh, now, while we were driving around and doing our thing, we didn't end up getting uh, texted by Delamain and Claire. So Delamain said, Figoro or Basingo? And I can say, Figoro, Basingo, or your mom. This is too tempting. And Delamain says, Hmm. Do they hide below the ice or behind the fire? Okay, what's happening here? Who the fuck knows? Hmm. I found their leader. Should I burn or drown them? Whoa, what the hell? Uh, let them live. I like that we get a third option every time. What is going on here, Delamain? In the end, we are victorious. We will vanquish them one by one. Cools. What did you do? Was that the evil Delamain that we got in the car with? And Claire says, hey, an X-Race is in the Badlands. The Nomads don't fuck around when it comes to burning rubber on their home turf, so I'm going to need you in top form, like for reals. Meet at the end of Brooklyn Street, the new dam. Call like last time. See you on Brooklyn Street. All right. Nice. And that'll be what we do next time as we look into more amazing cyberpunk activities. But for now, 
we will be bringing this episode of Cyberpunk 2077 to a close. Thank you so much for joining me today for some more uh, incredible action in this place. We've got a lot more money, uh, so we'll probably do some more shopping of cyberware before we proceed next time and uh, look into some other things. So thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time.